right, this is for Iron De River. Um, the first thing that I would say right off the bat is that you want to fix the anatomy. Um, taking a look at this, the the characters, especially his upper torso here, uh, it really needs some fixing. And so um, I get that you want to do kind of a side profile, but the problem is having the shoulder back, um, having the shoulder back here, basically twist this whole torso. Right, so this torso kind of comes into kind of an egg shape here, and it'll twist the torso so you see a good portion of that, like so. And then the hips are going to kind of push forward, like so. Um, just female hips in general. And so you're going to kind of see some of that twist in there, and this leg is fine, and this leg is fine, but the way the way this torso is you'll start seeing kind of the rough outline of the breast over here and then the breast over here and then you have to understand that this breast has a muscle has the pectoral muscle connected to it um, so on and so forth so it's just it's just the the kind of looking at anatomy there's tons of you know reference out there for this stuff um, and look at a silhouette versus uh, looking at anatomy, you know, I would push this arm out forward so that it, it becomes much more interesting. Also, the neck is going to go forward a little bit more to, you know, be a more natural curve. And then, you know, that, that solves that kind of that torso flip. The other thing that you want to take care of is your brush stroke right now. Um, you know, looking at this, you've got this broken into kind of three areas. And so the three areas essentially are um, the, this foreground piece, which I don't really give it a sense of foreground. I more or less give it a sense of kind of a just, just a, a piece in general. And so it, it doesn't it doesn't make sense that it's coming in the foreground it, because it looks like it's coming in the background. And a portraiture piece like this, kind of watch out how how much you're actually um, dealing with this. So I'm breaking this into just two rough pieces here, or three pieces, uh, breaking it into foreground, middle ground, and background. And what's happening when I do this? is there's a couple different things that are going to happen. First, the background, I get that you want it kind of blended, um, but the problem with your blend the problem with your blend is that it doesn't have a sense of clarity, and I'll show you what I mean by that. kind of all right one more piece here all right so once I've got these separated the first thing that you want to pay attention to is the amount of texture that you're using um, and the the information so the stuff back here you've pretty much drawn but it has no sense of what it really is um, and it also feels layered because of this stuff here so if you're going to do something like this and let me just create a new layer actually let's go down a little bit so if you're going to do something like this um, the first thing that you want to do is you want you have your your lighting defined here uh, which basically is just a new layer and we're just going to pick the brush and so I'm just going to stroke this at this level and do you see how my my piece here is very round and and uh, defined and that's kind of what you you're looking for now you can blur it a little bit because of the the depth perception you want to add, 
but you you need to realize how the depth perception works because if you you're creating a focal point um, back here the, the thing is you want to have you want to have that shade in here so I'm just using a chalk brush do you see how I just kind of filling in this this shape now um, it it completes the shape as a whole uh, then this here starts forming this out as well so as you can see you're you're getting that that form that shape that that aspect of that going on um, and so what I'm going to do is then transform this to be a little bit bigger and with that that piece bigger then what I'm going to do is if you want this embeveled or bossed here then you you define that bevel so here is that bevel going on and then here's the reflection of that bevel going on so do you, do you you have to understand the form of the way the way this light is bending on here and so from there you can kind of build up a defined shape like so now I'm just using these as guides they're not nothing really you know they're nothing more than just a, a kind of uh, a basic piece but when I hide my guides you see how this much reads much better and more much more interesting and I have to you know clean it up of course you know with masks and and things like that but now this reads a lot better um, and I can still blur it out I mean I can still uh, go to filter blur um, you know add my Gaussian in there and you know you can still and you see how even though I blur the background out it still blurs well enough that it reads well and that's what I'm looking at um, you know and I can I can add in little little bits and pieces of maybe the highlights here you know that that solidify that or maybe if I want to add you know a little bit more sharpness in there um, you know those types of, of things are going to really push it more so define the background don't just you know put it in so then over here um, I'm gonna fix this because it just it feels off so I'm gonna just grab uh, we're gonna grab the liquify tool here so So basically what I'm going to do is just kind of build this up and for now I'm just kind of and let's kind of push this here. And I'm just using the liquify to kind of make space for the breast without, without it feeling, um, without it feeling like it's broken here. So we're just gonna kind of flesh this in real quick here. Add your your mid tone, and then our highlight here. And do you see how just simply adding that in fixes a lot of the the head? and that sort of thing um, and then the neck is a little bit too long so we're just gonna kind of plop that down and that that becomes much more proportionate um, maybe we'll just go in here and let's add So I'm just kind of cleaning up and playing with it. Okay, so but that that is a, kind of a huge aspect of what you need to kind of realize. Um, but now that you've got this defined, you want to have 
a sense of how the light is because you've got light going on here but you don't have light on the hand so you need to have those pieces in there as well um, And that's making this stick out. And then bring the darkness into the bottom of the hand because your, your, your hand is almost receiving very little light because of that. Um, and then add some of this purple rim lighting. And if you're going to add the purple rim light, then add a little bit more of that rim light so that it stands out a little bit more. And the this here, I would sharpen the elbow because generally you don't have a, a rounded out elbow, it looks distorted. So here, you know, and maybe on some parts it'll pop a little bit more because you have a strong white light here, but you have nothing on the elbow um, and nothing on the back as well. Uh, so, you know, keep the, keep the light consistent and, you know, those are things that you need to kind of work with. Um, maybe even a, a bluish light popping in here too as well. Um, but when you when you blend your colors, I, I don't know if you're using the blend brush, which I don't use personally. I, I, I very rarely use that. Um, but when you blend your colors, like here, you're trying to get that metal look, and I, I get that. Uh, but like up here, it's very grainy and textured. Um, you might be able to just add in kind of a... a, a a base texture on top of it and get your form in there um, so let, let's get the form in here first so looking at this you you want to define your form um, put some put some highlights in there where where things are kind of rounding out and reflecting on each other um, so you want to build up that form as a whole um, and then you know, if you want just a, a kind of a texture on here, what we can do is we just simply add a new layer. And this new layer would say we want to grab kind of just texture here. I'm just going to do the arm here, maybe the breast. So I've got my pieces here. And you want to add in, we're just going to quick fill. And uh, I was using a really weird gradient the other day, so I just kind of fill this in. And then we're going to add noise to it, render. Um, I'm going to just add a cloud real quick here. Actually, default that. And filter, uh, render, difference clouds. Um, the difference clouds adds a little bit of different temperature in there and that alone can help your, your composition as a whole. Um, I always find that information interesting. Hello this is Richard.